Hi, I'm Mary, a librarian turned book reviewer with a focus on stories written for kids, tweens, and teens. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about this book, Barefoot Dreams of Petra Luna by Alda P. Dobbs. This is the story of 12-year-old Petra Luna who's growing up in revolutionary Mexico. So 1913, Petra is the head of her family, and it's up to her to make sure that her abuelita and her little siblings Emilia and Luisito are safe. But when the Ferrerares come and burn her village to the ground, she and her family must pick up what meager possessions they have left and venture barefoot across the desert in search of a better life. This story is inspired by stories that the author herself heard growing up of her great grandmother who lived through the Mexican Revolution herself. So even though some of the stories that she heard about her great grandmother seemed far-fetched, when the author started doing research for this book, she found that they were more real than she ever expected. And she put those stories together into this fictional narrative about a nonfiction event. So like any good historical fiction novel, this story does a really good job of getting readers involved in the history, understanding what happened while empathizing with characters who are based on real people, but who aren't real themselves. Now, as you might imagine, because this takes place in Mexico, there are a lot of Spanish language words embedded within the text, and this is done in a little bit of a different way from other books of this type. So instead of having each time a word in Spanish is mentioned being in italics, only the first time the word is mentioned is it in italics. So that means that following that, it just becomes a part of the narrative. So as you're reading, any word that's in Spanish is right next to a word in English, neither of them are in italics, and it really is becoming part of the narrative. So just as Petra Luna's life is embedded in Spanish, so too does the reader get a sense of that through this story. Regardless of their level of understanding of Spanish at the beginning of this book, readers will have no trouble understanding the Spanish that's in here. And what's nice is that even though there's no glossary at the end, each word is either described immediately by the text or done so in, um, in a style that's just implied. So, you know, whether the, the actual definition comes immediately after or if it's just implied by the text, readers have a very strong understanding of what the words mean, even if they don't have a strong foundation in Spanish. So this story I love because it has a lot of metaphor and any story with that really catches my attention. Um, so there's one particularly strong metaphor in here about a piece of coal that Petra is carrying with her through this story and how her father told her that diamonds are just pieces of coal that under lots of intense pressure and time become diamonds. So she, just like the coal she carries, gets molded and shifted by the experiences that she has and turns into a stronger, more striking version of herself as the story goes on. This is a really powerful addition to middle grade libraries. And even though it is written for middle grade readers, um, older readers are going to appreciate this as well, especially because this isn't a historical moment that is often written about. Now, in the fact that it's written for middle grade readers, you'll see that there's pretty good amounts of white space on the pages. The story flows really easily, but the messages in it are profound. So as, as Petra's going through a lot of these hard situations, readers are going to empathize with her and they're going to feel those emotions as well. So there's no pictures in here at all, but you can see it's a pretty accessible text for young readers. At the end, you'll also find a timeline of the events that happened between 1910 and 1913. Um, both in Mexico and in the United States, and it helps readers kind of orient themselves to this moment in history. So I highly recommend this book to anyone interested in historical fiction, learning more about this time period in global society and how it relates to things that are happening in our world today. And I hope, I hope, I hope that you check it out at your favorite bookstore.